Hi, if you are one of those people who has worked on a single application based product, you know what nightmare it can turn into when you have to add some new features or scale this product or fix bugs. So friends, the solution to this problem is service based architecture. Hello everyone, my name is Pooja and I am the creator of this channel Connecting Within where I talk about work, life and everything that lies in between. I have over a decade's experience in software industry, in telecom, wireless, internet security and e-commerce domains. So friends, what is service-based architecture? To understand the beauty of this, we first need to understand what is a monolithic architecture. So friends, monolithic architecture is the age-old architecture that we have been using which is the single application based system here we put all the business logic all the requirements into a single application and a single application is deployed for it to run so friends what are the advantage of this the advantage is that you have only a single application a single code base now let's move to service based architecture so friends, as you can see in this picture, and please excuse my handwriting, all the functionality has now been divided into different smaller processes. These are called services. Now there is no single application. There are multiple processes called services that provide the functionality or the business logic. So friends, as you can see, there can be multiple services and multiple instances of a single services can be used if you want to scale this particular service so now that when we understand the differences between these two architecture let's try to understand that which architecture we should be using so monolithic means a single application so you should be using this structure when you know that you are not going to modify or scale your product much in the future it will keep your life simpler and you would have only one code base to maintain but when you know that your functionality is going to get more and more complex in future you will have to scale it up many fold then it's better to go ahead with the service based architecture so friends now that we understand the uses of both the architectures let's try to understand their disadvantages see the monolithic is very good because it is a single deployment it makes life easier for the developer the tester the devops people but the disadvantage is that if you add any more features the maintenance of the code base or bug fixes becomes very difficult similarly sba also has got some disadvantages firstly when you look at it from practical point of view dividing teams on the basis of services it becomes very difficult to clearly define that which team is responsible for which service so maintaining that coordination sometimes becomes a problem but one big advantage of sba is that it helps us follow the agile methodologies because it helps us in following the process of maintaining small teams for giving iterative deployments so friends what happens that when if you have to make certain changes in your service the usefulness of this architecture is that you need to redeploy only this particular service you need not have to go into redeployment or working on the other services whereas in monolithic wherever you need make any fix you need to redeploy the whole application so now friends, I hope that you understand the beauty of both the architectures and you have somewhat understanding of which architecture would be better to use in which scenario and you would appreciate both the architectures. So friends, I would be concluding uh, this video over here. I really appreciate uh, yours having time, spent time with me over here. I would be making another video where I would be discussing about the REST API, which are used for the communication with these services in service-based architecture. And I would also then take it further to discuss the service-based architecture of a 5G network. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.